Hello my dear friends, welcome to Anamika's Edu Space. Today I welcome all the DAV school students of class 6 in my channel. And now in this video we are going to learn all the question and answers of the chapter measurement and motion. Point D. Answer the following questions in brief that is in short we have to answer these questions. Let's begin. First question. How does the measurement help us in our day to day life? And the answer goes as the measurement plays an important role in our lives. It is necessary to know the exact amount of the different unknown physical quantities for comparison of things. Proper measurement of things helps us to express the unit of unknown quantity with some known fixed quantity or units. It helps us to know the answers of many questions in our day-to-day -day life such as length of a table, meter of a cloth, mass of a body and the time in a day. So this was the answer for the first question. Now coming to the second question. Second question goes as which type of watch is used to measure time intervals in 200 meter race and the answer is stop watch. So we have to write the answer in this way that stop watch is used to measure the time intervals in a 200 meter race. If you like this video then please do share this video with your friends in WhatsApp. Now coming to question number 3. Question number 3 goes as when do we consider an object to be in motion? And the answer is an object is said to be in motion if it keeps on changing its position with respect to its immediate surrounding. Understood? Now coming to the fourth question and the fourth question says that name three different types of motion and give one example of each. And the answer goes as the three different types of motion are as follows. Point A, rectilinear motion or linear motion and the example is moving on a straight path. Point B, periodic motion that is hands of a clock. Point C, oscillatory motion that is motion of a pendulum. Now coming to question number 5, state the differences between the periodic and non-periodic motion. The answer is periodic motion, non-periodic motion. First point, a motion is said to be periodic if it repeats itself after a regular time interval. And here in non-periodic we must write, a motion is said to be non-periodic if it doesn't repeat itself in a irregular manner. Now coming to point B. Motion of a planet around the sun is an example of periodic motion. Whereas point B in non-periodic motion is the running of a batsman between the wickets is an example of non-periodic motion. Now coming to the long answer questions. Answer the following questions. Hope you like this video till now. If you like this video or if you find my efforts helpful, then please do like this video, share this video with your friends and also do click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Let's move ahead. Question number one. Why does a measurement need both a number and a unit 
for its complete specification and the answer goes as we need both the number as well as the unit to express the measurement in a proper and a complete way for example if we say 4 then others will not understand what we mean hence we have to use a unit of length if we say meters then the other person will wonder how many meters therefore we need to tell the number to express the right quantity coming to question number two why is a foot step or a hand span not used as a standard unit of length and the answer is a foot step or a hand span cannot be used as a standard unit of length because the length of a foot step or a hand span of different persons is different so foot step or a hand span and other such measuring system cannot be used as a standard unit of length question number three the question number three has two parts number a and number b now the question says radha was performing an experiment in science laboratory the meter scale she was using to measure the length was worn out between its one centimeter and two centimeter marks due to its overuse now point a says that she measures the length of a string by keeping its one end at the 3 cm mark. If the other end of the string reads 92.8 cm, then find the length of the string. Now, coming to the answer. Now, what was the initial mark? The initial mark or the starting mark was 3 cm and the final mark is 92.8 cm. Now, length of the string is final mark minus the initial mark so when we subtract the final mark from the initial mark we will get our correct answer which is 89.8 centimeter clear students this is the answer number b that is the second part of question number three so question number three second part so 3b says that write the precaution to be followed when meter scale is used for measuring a given length and the answer is precautions to be followed are as number one keep the scale along the length which is to be measured number two the zero mark of the scale should coincide with one end of the length to be measured number three keep the eye vertically above the end point and in the line with the reading to be taken number four do not own out or broken portion of the meter scale for measuring the length i hope you understood this question now coming to question number four explain two difference between rest and motion give two examples of each answer is rest and motion an object is at rest if it doesn't change its position with respect to its immediate surroundings an object is in motion if it keeps on changing its position with respect to its immediate surroundings example a fixed clock number b is standing and example for motion is wind number b is moving bus clear students now coming to question number five five question has two parts so 5a is distinguish between rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion rectilinear motion curvilinear motion rectilinear motion point a says that an object 
is said to have rectilinear motion if the changes in the position is all along the straight line path. Curvilinear motion. An object is said to have a curvilinear motion when an object moves from one position to another along a curved line. For example, motion of the aeroplanes in the sky. For example, motion of the basketball in the basket. I hope it is clear. Let's move to the second part of question number 5. Now this is the second part of question number 5. We says distinguish that is differentiate between rotation and revolution. Rotation, revolution. Rotation, an object is said to be having rotation if it keeps on moving round and round or keeps on spinning without changing its position. Revolution. The motion of an object is known to having a revolution if it moves around a central point changing its position continuously usually following a circular path. For example, a moving fan and for example in revolution is the earth revolves around the sun. Clear students? Now coming to Question number 6. Define the following types of motion. Rectilinear motion and circular motion. Point A. Rectilinear motion. An object is said to have rectilinear motion if the changes in its position is all along the straight line path. For example, moving in a straight line. Number B. Circular motion. It is described as a movement of an object while rotating along a circular path. For example, wheel of a moving car. So this was the end of all the question answers I have discussed for the chapter 6 measurement and motion of the DAV school students. Now, you can also check out the description box where the links of the other videos are present. Where you can find all the questions and answers related to class 6 of the DAV school. Also, do subscribe to our channel Anamika's Edu Space if you find this video interesting and helpful. Please do subscribe to our channel and also make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at at the rate the underscore Anamika's Edu Space. Copy this out and you can follow us because there we are ready to post and you can also contact us. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Please do visit again. Goodbye.